Welcome back to Inside A-Town. I'm Ali. We have a lot to cover this week, but first, here's a special message from Dr. Turner. I believe the, the most important individuals in the school are the children, and that children should be celebrated. And one of the things that I want to do is uh, I want to recognize each month, student of the month, and also the student who I believe has shown a level of perseverance and uh, has succeeded. And this month I'm going to I'm going to actually start that by uh, naming the student of the month, as well as that student who I believe has shown uh, a, a level of perseverance and uh, I think that they should be recognized. So after I call your name, after you hear your name, I want you to come down to the main office and see me, okay? Uh, the student of the month is Marquan Jones. Marquan Jones, the student of the month. And the student who I believe has shown a level of perseverance and has the Patriot Excel Award, that's the name of that award, is Ashton Brown. So Ashton Brown, Patriot Excel Award, uh, and Marquand Jones. Please, guys, come on down. Now, that's it for me. I want you all to have a great week, and I'll see you here uh, next week. Peace. We went to visit Ms. Massey this week to find out more about the Career Connection Center. Here's what we found out. Last year, I knew somebody that had done this really cool internship, and I'd worked with Ms. Massey. I knew for my internship I had to have a portfolio, but I didn't know really what that meant. So I just came in here and was like, Miss Massey, what do I, how do I organize this? What even is this? And she like helped me so much. Like I have this whole portfolio now. You don't need to know anything about what you want to do or how to do it. Just come see Miss Massey and she will help you. Um, I generally knew what I wanted to do, but she kind of helped me figure out more of the exact field that I would want to go into with my interests and then she helped me um, actually talk to an internship site and get it set up. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do after high school and my junior year I was kind of stressing out because I really wanted to figure out my plan and so I came to Miss Massey and we went over my personality test and we tried to pick a path that would best suit me. She helped me find and use my connections that I already had and landed me a pretty lucky internship. Don't be afraid to come see Miss Massey because she really wants to help you and build a relationship with you as a student. Um, she's really cool. I am Miss Massey. I am the career specialist here at Auburn Hill High School. So as the career specialist, there's Really the main purpose of this role is to help students discover their interest, who they are, and then also how that could align with different career and job opportunities. So we are going to have a career corner monthly and it's going to be different themes around different fields that students could possibly get into, different career exploration activities. There's one of me and almost 2,000 students. So you can email me obviously at any point in time and I check my email very regularly. You can also get in touch with me just by simply stopping by and seeing if I'm here. And then also too there's the online career center where students can actually request a time to come and visit with me and and I can schedule it and I can send a pass for them. So there are a couple of different ways that, that students can, can come and find me. Students to access the online career center need to first start off by going to the Main Ages website. You go and click the counseling tab from there because the career center and the career specialist falls underneath the counseling department. And then if you look on the left side navigation column, you scroll down a little bit and you'll see AHSC3 Career Connection Center. And you click on that and it'll take you directly to the website. And then from there, you will see that it gives you a lot of different options on how to either meet with Ms. Massey, myself, how to write your resume, how to explore your career clusters. It can be extremely overwhelming. Where do I even begin? How do I start this process? And so really what I hope that students walk away after working with me is they have a better understanding of who they are and they have a better understanding of then how to apply who they are with the different goals that they have for themselves in the future. With any different twists and turns that happen in your life, you have that ability, you have that lifelong skill of learning how to assess who you are and make goals accordingly. 
So I really, and hopefully that will also to ease any anxiety around planning your life. Over the past month, we've been trying to get to know our assistant principals. Here is the fourth and last installment of the vice principals. Uh, let's see, Miss Blunt is responsible for, let's see, the English department, the history department, the health and PE department, um, and she does a whole lot of work with computers, laptops, technology, um, all sorts of, and a million other things. Let's see, I would say that Miss Blunt's personality is that she is super calm in the face of uh, challenges. Like, she, she just, she rolls with the punches, and, and if there's, uh, ever a, a, a problem or whatever, she just knows how to keep everybody calm and cool and collected and focused and get, and get to solutions. Funny story, let's see. Um, so not everybody knows this, but Miss Blunt really likes to dance. Now watch me whip, now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nay nay. Why me do it? If you ever get a chance to see her dance, um, definitely take it up. 90s hip hop, rap, anything like that, she will she will just be cutting up the rug. It's pretty awesome. Um, job that if she weren't a principal, I think uh, I could see Miss Blunt as like a like a therapist or a, you know something just just working with people because she's just a people person. She loves people. Yeah, not everybody knows this, but she actually has I think eight siblings, and all of them begin with the letter K. It's amazing. She's the youngest of all of them, and they all start with the letter K, including one named Kermit. That's pretty cool. Um, if they were gonna make a TV movie about about Alamo High School, who would play Miss Blunt? I would say uh, Oprah Winfrey. Woman of dignity, definitely. This week, one of our Alamo golfers have participated in a state championship. Thomas filed this Patriot Report. Welcome to the Patriot Report. I'm Tom. Today we're going to be talking to Ryan Porter, the Patriot golfer who very recently visited states. Ryan, can you tell me a little bit about the team this year and how you did so well? Yeah, the team, we had a pretty good year this year. Um, we went about 22-2, and two, I think. Uh, we were able to win the district, sub-region, and got second in the region. Uh, we wanted to go a little bit farther, uh, but overall it was a good year. Uh, everyone on the team, we're all good friends. We have good team chemistry, I think, that contributed to the success we had. So you qualified for the state tournament. What was it like competing against 44 of the best golfers in the state? Uh, it, was, it was a good experience, uh, bigger than anything I've ever played in for uh, the district matches and the, the regional matches. They aren't as serious, I guess you could say, but when you get to the, the state, um, a lot of people are watching you, a uh, lot's on the line, so it was definitely a humbling experience uh, going against all those great golfers, but I'm glad I got to go. Tell us a little bit about how you started playing golf. Um, I started uh, the summer before my freshman year, so uh, my friend Nick and I, uh, we golfed over the summer, uh, practiced as much as we could, and were able to get the last two spots on the team. Um, and I kind of just fell in love with the sport after that, uh, started playing it a lot more, and uh, you know, just played for all four years at Albemarle and really enjoyed it. So for people that aren't really familiar with golf, what are some skill sets that are required to be playing golf? Um, I think more than anything, uh, of course the swing's important and hand-eye coordination all that stuff, but it pretty much comes down to your uh, mental state. Um, if you can hang in there when you're having a bad round, uh, fight through bad holes, uh, it's really important to be able to just grind it out when you have to, and I think that's what contributes to a lot of successful golfers. 
So you as well play baseball. Can you compare the two sports? Uh, they're definitely different. Uh, I know I'm coming off a golf season and a baseball season. It takes me a while to get my swing back on track, you know, going from this motion to that motion. But um, yeah, it's, it's different hitting a, a still ball, trying to hit it where you want, and then hitting a 90 mile per hour fastball coming right at you. So it takes some adjustment. So what are your plans for golf after high school? Um, unfortunately, I'm probably done playing competitive golf. Uh, I definitely like to come back here uh, before I go off to college. Um, come help Coach Maynard during some practices, but you know I'm sure I'll play my whole life. Golf's a sport you can you can play till in the old age. So I think I'll be able to get out get out on the course and play with some friends. Well, that's it. I want to thank Ryan. Congrats on a great season, and this has been the Patriot Report. I'm Ali. I'm Jaquan. And thanks for watching Inside A Town. Join us next week for more. Go, Go Patriots! Patriots! I'm going to the. Game. I see those outfits. You guys have spirit. Yeah, a little bit. Like, a little bit. Just we kind of like this school, like a tiny bit. Like, yeah, just just a little bit. We just like school a bit. Um, my favorite day of spirit week, I think, was Wednesday, which was Jersey Day, just because like I like seeing everyone like wearing the different jerseys and everyone having a lot of fun with that. Uh, probably Jersey Day. Why? I just like sports, I like wearing jerseys. I have a lot of jerseys. And like, uh, what do you think about the um, tweet uh, wars? The tours, I love them. Um, especially yesterday when we tweeted a bunch, I tweeted around like 60 tweets. Go juniors. Uh, go juniors. <laughs> I definitely like Generation Day because it's just so much fun to dress up as like different age groups and uh, seeing like the freshmen dress dress up as babies was pretty fun too. Uh, definitely a Generation Day. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with that too, Generation Day. Yeah. Why? Because it was fun to see like everyone dressed up differently and like how everyone put their own little touch on it. My favorite day of Spirit Week was definitely Generation Day because we got to be senior citizens and it was so fun getting to walk around with a walker all day. Jersey, Jersey out. Why? Because um, I don't really own a lot of the crazy clothes that everybody else be wearing, but when it comes to jerseys, I always have one. Um, I would have to say my favorite day of Spirit Week was probably um, Generation Day because we got to wear onesies and be babies, so it was pretty fun. <laughs> I'd have to say Tacky Tuesday. Why? Um, because I could just make the worst outfit ever and just like you know, like just not get judged for it or anything and it was pretty funny. Um, I liked when we had Generation Day because I could dress up as an old person. My favorite day of the Spirit Week was Color Day because it was the easiest one to do, so I didn't struggle finding something for that one. Yeah, coming in as a freshman, this was definitely really exciting. And just being able to compete with the other grades with Twitter wars and the whole experience was really fun. All right, thank you.